Hello, my name is Karen Laurie, and I use red lights at night. It helps me sleep better, but that's not what this is about. I wanted you to imagine something with me. Let's say you're an artist. You're a painter. And let's say you have a palette with all the colors, but you have a painting that will only need some of the colors. Let's say you're going to take some green, and you're going to take some brown, and you're going to take some black. You can maybe take some white, and you maybe take some red. But maybe you're not taking the purple or the sienna or the pink. <laughs> you don't have to hate the purple and the sienna and the pink. Just take the parts you want. And if you would only put the colors that you want on your painting, your painting's going to be the way you like it. What people do, a lot of times, not always, but what a lot of people do, is they will hate these other colors, and then because they're in this place of hate, those other colors often end up on their painting in a way that they don't want. And end up, if you imagine that your life, because it's true, your life is a work of art. And you are the artist. And the world around you is your palette. If you just take the pieces of the world around you that are what you want on your painting, on your work of art in your life, your life will become more and more what you're wanting. If you end up hating these colors just because they're not going to be in this painting, even though they might be in the next painting you do, what will happen is whatever you hate, you bring to you. That's one thing. Whatever you love, you bring to you. But the other thing that happens is when you hate it, you put your physiology into a place of being inflamed, and you can cause yourself to get physically sick. You can even see people saying, oh my God, that guy makes me so sick. That guy makes my blood boil. What do you think your body is doing when it hears you say this or feels those emotions? It's going to listen to you. You are the president of your own body. Your body is a work of art. Are you going to hate things and put that hatred into your body and let it make you ill? Or are you going to just take the colors that you want off the palette, the infinite palette, and put just the colors you want on your piece of art, on your painting, on your artistry of life? Whatever you push against, you draw to you. Whatever you love, you draw to you. Whatever you hate, you draw to you. What if all these infinite colors on your palette of life could just be there and you only take the ones that you want, just the ones you want, and you make the artistry of your life the way you want it to be, to have all the colors that you want. If you did that, life would be much more beautiful, much easier, and your body would be thriving. Every single time, it doesn't matter if you're mad at a commercial, if you're mad at a character on a show, it does not matter every single time you get into a negative space like that if you don't know how to do it in a, in a way that's healthy. There's ways to, to be healthy with your emotions. But if you get into a negative space like that, you're literally making your body more ill. And you'll find if you have, let's say you get triggered in a negative way and you've just hated all the colors on the palette or just the colors that you think are bad and you've gotten triggered, You'll notice probably within a couple of days, something will happen, like you'll get a cold or, or 
you get a flat tire or something happens because it's the universe letting you know that hatred is not the path. Let everybody be. You just pick the parts on your palette or in this infinite palette of life. Just pick, pick the parts that you want on your painting of your life or on the artistry of your life. You are the master artist of your life. And you deserve to have your life the way you want it. I appreciate you. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your night. Yes, this is I Love You in American Sign Language. Everybody in my family knows I used to interpret for the hearing impaired. Um, that was just a non sequitur. But anyway, I appreciate you so much. That's I love you again. I love you. I love you. So it has, it's not a devil. It's, this is an I, this is an L, and this is, oh, I'm going to do it on the sand because this, this sand's still healing. So this is an I, this is an L, and this is, this is a Y. So it's I love you right there. Or I really love you. That's an R. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a beautiful rest of your night or day whenever you see, whenever you do this.